Hey everyone, today I'm making a beautiful hot appetizer. It's calamari. It's a Greek or Mediterranean dish, also very famous in Cyprus too. Please follow my recipe so that you can get a beautiful, non-chewy and crispy calamari. For this, we need fresh calamari, I already cut it. We need the uh, simple flour mixture made from very simple ingredients that we're gonna discuss in a moment and the toppings for the uh, calamari. Usually, as you guys can see, I have fresh Italian parsley, lemon, and red onion. You could use the white onion too, but I prefer the red onion because it's uh, a lot sweeter. And we're gonna make the tartar sauce, but my way, the authentic way. Now we're gonna make the uh, flour mixture. We start with five tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Better to use the organic one. One tablespoon of simul flour. And one tablespoon of cornstarch. We add some salt. Uh, we mix it well. Okay, now for the uh, calamari, we're gonna marinate the calamari. We start off with a little bit of sugar. And the reason being like I'm putting the sugar because sugar adds crispiness to the uh, calamari. Salt, fresh black pepper, the calamari is ready, the flour is ready, it's a very simple ingredient, very simple recipe. I'm just waiting for the cooking oil to become uh, hot. I'm using medium fire. We're gonna fry the calamari for no more than one minute. The reason being, if we fry it longer than that, uh, the calamari is gonna be too chewy and we don't want that. So let's go. So we make sure we mix the calamari very well. So we're gonna uh, dip the calamari into the uh, flour mix then quick dip into the water and then dip it back into the uh, flour mix and then we'll go straight to the uh, frying. We take just a few of them, just like that, very simple, just like that as you can see, dip it back. And then we go to the frying.
I decorated this uh, beautiful plate with um, red onions, fresh parsley, and two slices of lemon. Calamari always needs some acidity, so we always offer on the side one to two uh, slices of lemon. Okay, so now we're gonna make the uh, tartar sauce. So, we got some mayo. We could do um, four to five tablespoons of mayo and then a uh, squeeze of uh, lemon or lime. We're gonna need some dill. I'm gonna use uh, a homemade uh, pickle. So you chop it finely. Some people like to use uh, relish, but in this case, because we're using calamari, you wanted something to be more acidic than the relish, because relish is more sweet. So I'm using my uh, homemade uh, pickled cucumber. And if you want to add some uh, to your um, some uh, onion to your tartar sauce, that's also good. Trust me, that not too much, just a little bit. And you could use, if you want, fresh dill or dried dill, it doesn't really matter. Mix everything well. Mmm, smells amazing. There's nothing better than homemade stuff. When you make homemade stuff, you don't need to worry about those preservatives. Everything's homemade. Mm. Mm. Okay, that's it for now. If you guys like my video, please like and subscribe to my channel, the Acropolis channel. And also I have my Facebook page that I recently started. It's called Signature Cooking with Eli. And I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna love uh, the upcoming recipes. I have many, many beautiful recipes. And also many people were telling me uh, to make uh, some outdoor cooking. I'm gonna do some barbecues and uh, other recipes. So see you next time.